Hello and welcome back to Mia Cat Chris. Yeah, we're gonna do another room tour, okay? Another one. We did one last year, but this is an update. So yes, we're gonna start at my door. This is my door. Turn the handle. Ooh, oh, we're inside Chris's room now. Wow, isn't it beautiful? Wow, yeah, wow. And to begin with, I guess up on my door I do have a Forbidden Planet Joker bag. Hey, literally a plastic bag. And one little hanging Ewok. From McDonald's of all places, so... So where shall we start? Last year we started here, so let's start at the TV desk unit. Although let's move the chair out of the way first, open up a bit of the room. And here we have the typical set for Meerkat Chris. Now of course we've got my 32 inch TV. Not a great TV, but it has decent sound and decent picture quality so I don't really mind. And off to the left, we have a few pops. The T800 Terminator. Ray and BB-8 in the background there. One of those DSLR camera lens mugs. If we have a look inside, the lid comes off and you're supposed to put coffee or tea in there, but I put Nerf darts because Nerf or nothing, am I right? Yeah, I don't know. One of my favorite sets of Lego. Lego Minecraft set. A little piggy. I like to think that's Kathleen. A couple of Walking Dead figures, including Rick Grimes. I love that guy. Ooh, I also love this guy. Batfleck. Tell me, do you bleed? Uh, all the time, mate. I don't know. Rick Grimes. A couple you'll see very often in Meerkat Chris. A couple more pops. Heisenberg, Doc Brown, Marty McFly and the DeLorean. A couple Star Wars things here. <sighs> Lego Stormtrooper. A couple lightsabers. Fallout, Vault Boy. Blu-rays. And the Mystery Machine. Scooby, Scooby, ah. Oh. Right, I'm gonna have to take one. I am sweating. We'll have a look to the right and we'll start over here. And on the top we have a PS1. Let's get a closer top look. PS1, Ferrari Enzo. Uh, uh, I'm not egotistical or anything, but that's my name on a little artist stand. A New Hope poster, followed by the Watch Dogs Dead Sec Edition gigantic box. Got it dead cheap, so I don't know, I just thought it was nice to display in the background there. On the next shelf we have a couple DVD steel books and a couple Blu-ray. Rise of the Tomb Raider Collector's Edition Guide. A couple random Doctor Who DVDs. A Sherlock figure which I have yet to still unbox, but I will get round to that. A little bit of a display here. An original Game Boy in the background there. The reason it does have a hairband on it is because the screen kind of pops off every now and then, so it's just a way to keep it on. You know, just the common stuff. A couple Lego sets there, BB-8, Mr. Incredible, and of course one of my favourite pieces in my collection, Space Cop! You know, Red Letter Media. As I've pointed out multiple times, signed by Mike, Rich and Jay. Sports Albanac in the background, you know, from Back to the Future Part 2. A Tomb Raider Legend on Game Boy Advance, just randomly. <laughs> Moving down to the second shelf, a couple Tomb Raider stuff up there. Band of Brothers on Blu-ray, because I do have it on DVD as you will have noticed over here, but that is the Blu-ray upgrade. I personally prefer the case for the DVD, but it'll do. Uh, the Walking Dead, Compendium 1. It's got Pilgrim DVD just randomly here, I just like how it looks up here instead of just all black. Because these are the figures I accidentally got, as you will remember from a previous episode. Eagle Moss collection figures. And we all know I kind of have a slight obsession with Lara Croft and Tomb Raider. Really proud of this, it's a sealed Tomb Raider Anniversary. PS2 game, brand new, completely sealed. Does have a slight dent, which I did notice up here the other day, which is really annoying me, but you know. Oh, <laughs> there she is, Lara Croft. Good old Lara. Not a great likeness in the face, but I just, I don't know, I just love that figure. Hoverboard, right there. The one ring to rule them all. And Lara, of course, another Lara Croft. And just randomly, it's kind of creepy now that I think about it, but Chris Pratt's head. Stig in the background with that guy from Watch Dogs, I can't remember his name. Moving down again, some Family Guy box sets on DVD. The first season of Simpsons on DVD. My first Star-Lord figure over there. Uh, a few Blu-rays. And some Fallout Pops. Some DC Justice League members right there as well. And moving down again to the games. The PS4 games specifically over here. There's Mario. I know it's not really PlayStation themed. I just thought he added some nice colour to the shelf. 
um, quite a few Call of Duties there. Because I actually don't mind Call of Duty that much. And Ghost! Moving down again, PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360 slash original Xbox games. I only have three games on original Xbox, but you know, the three games that I love to own, so why not? My handheld consoles over here, minus the original Game Boy, of course. The original PSP, the original PS Vita, my personal favourite handheld console, and the 3DS, the Nintendo 3DS, which I have barely used at all. And there's some original Game Boy games. The Tetris game, that came packed with Game Boy. Randomly Mario Golf. And Blades of Steel, it's a ice hockey game. And I also have uh, Donkey Kong, but that's in my Game Boy at the moment. And the final shelf at the bottom, we have some Star Wars figures. Darth Vader, Luke, I know you can barely see them, and the Stormtrooper there. A clapperboard behind there. A couple PC games slash PlayStation 1 games, and of course more Tomb Raider. My Wii collection, that's in my Nintendo Wii collection. A couple DS games there, PSP games, some classic Doctor Who on DVD that I got when I was a kid, and some more PS3 games that I just haven't got anywhere to display. And of course you will have noticed that I have Red Dead Redemption twice. I have, well I have it three times because I have the Game of the Year edition on PS3 which comes with the DLC for it as well. I also have the standard limited edition because I just love the slipcover so much, and I have the original Xbox 360 game as well. And that's that for that shelf. Now we're moving on to this smaller unit. We'll have a look at the top, which is a bit of a mess. Things just randomly stacked. And speaking of stacking, we do have some PS1 games that I just don't have the cases for anymore there. Chewy, James Bond Aftershave. Some Meerkat stuff in the background, I don't know why. <laughs> My old Star Wars figures from when I was a kid. Of course, I don't have their guns or lightsabers anymore, but that's just what happens really when you grow up, you lose everything that you wanted when you were a kid. A New Hope, Leia and Luke set that does have the grapple as well, if you can see that there. You can swing it and hang them from stuff, but oh dear, oh, uh oh, good luck. A ah! couple R2-D2s, I should probably pick up Leia now that I think about it, because that is just, that is just cruel. Here's the first shelf of my DVD collection because I used to collect DVDs and this was when I was really getting into film as evident by the Alfred Hitchcock collection a couple of them, some more Hitchcock films Stanley Kubrick films over here my Nolan collection which at the time was complete some Fincher films my favourite Lord of the Rings box set right there Steven Spielberg films some classic ones I don't have all of his films but still Star Wars original trilogy and I like this set because it is the last release of the original trilogy in the original format on DVD although annoyingly it is also not a true DVD format because it is actually a scan of the original laser discs so it's not great quality basically moving down we're into our TV section oh yeah it cuts off the DVDs Series 1 of Doctor Who is pretty much non-existent now. Maybe my favourite TV show of all time, Life on Mars. Uh, Walk of Dead Seasons, not all of them, but some here and there. All of the original Breaking Bads. Heroes, and then I do have Heroes Season 3 behind there, as much of a disappointment as it is. Some more BBC related TV shows. Well, minus The Simpsons, I guess. Um, Bread Dwarf, one of my favourite sitcoms. But this, however, Spaced. Oh, Edgar Wright, he just literally doesn't do any wrong. Uh, Ricky Gervais, the, of the Office, the original Office that is, that's not the American one. Uh, Little Britain, I eh, don't really care for it, it's a bit faded as well. But One of my favourite collections, the first 20 James Bond films on VHS. Uh, well, number 19 and 20 aren't here, they're kind of under my bed because they couldn't fit in with this. And moving away, we'll move on to this side of the room now. Left hand side of the TV unit and we'll start at the top. And we have Ahsoka with Anakin and then some of the Clone Wars villains in the Clone Wars uh, Complete Seasons 1 to 5 here. Another Minecraft set. Hedwig in the background there, next to Woody. This is my Harry Potter wand. An Exo Force set I 
found at a charity shop because I used to love those things when I was a kid. Doctor Who Dalek might be my second favourite type of Dalek. There's a Luke Skywalker, 40th anniversary Black Series. Also along here I do have my wardrobe. On top of it I just store all the random boxes and such I have along with a couple unopened pop figures that I own. Anyway, back to this shelf. We'll go to the first shelf of the shelves. We have our superhero films over here with Darth Maul standing right in front of it for some reason. And of course, if you've seen any of my videos on my channel, you know I have all MCU related films that are currently released up to Doctor Strange. A few Disney films and most of the Pixar films behind these action figures. Captain America, Spider-Man and one of my personal favourite figures, Star-Lord. And then moving down from this, most if not all of my Walt Cinema films on DVD for the most part. Some great films in there, some really genuinely great films. Death Star and a First Order TIE Fighter. Uh, more Tomb Raider stuff, more Star Wars stuff, Just some random art stuff behind there. Another Tomb Raider limited edition guide and the original PC games of Lara Croft Tomb Raider. Moving down, we have some Dividers. And this is a really nice set. Oops. Another one of my favourites, Blade Runner Steel set. Some Ridley Scott films, which of course leads into the transitioning of the Alien films. One of my favourite directors, Danny Boyle. Tiny, tiny little Edgar Wright selection. Some J.J. Abrams, Quentin Tarantino, Coen Brothers, and Martin Scorsese. And another pop. And a couple Disney Infinity, Quora, and Sam Flynn. Moving down. And in the background we got some more indie slash art house films on DVD. Continuing all the way over to the more dramatised drama sort of section. Some Disney Infinity figures. Bond 50th Anniversary Blu-ray collection. Some little Lego figures over here. Star Wars Lego figures. Moving down again. <sighs> we have some more DVDs in the background. This was more of a superhero themed DVD set at the background. You can see them in the background there, kind of get an idea of what was there. And another James Bond collection on DVD. Uh, uh, yeah, I do. As with Lara Croft, I kind of love James Bond just as much. A random Monster Can collection, because I kind of like the look of them. I, I don't know, it's a personal thing, I guess. And on the bottom shelf, raising the ISO to 1600, we have my Doctor Who slash original films on VHS. These were the first films I made, although I should probably say films because I wouldn't really qualify them as films necessarily. James Bond-esque meerkat statue. Indiana Jones VHS box set in the background, the original trilogy. Some more DVDs, some gangster-esque films, some comedies, war, and some classical films down there as well. So yeah, oh, ooh, I should probably mention the damaged slash completely broken ATSD walker. Yeah. Big shame. We kind of fell all the way off there, right at the top. This thing, which you may or may not have seen in the background of some videos, is actually a tripod dolly track. And then moving away from this shelf, whoa, I just want to quickly show you the middle section of the desk unit. Because we do have some more DVDs over here. And then some just random VHS tapes that I still do own from before my DVD days. Splatoon Amiibo figure. Uh, my Nintendo 64 with GoldenEye cartridge in it. And then on the right side, Lego Dimensions. A Wii U, because yes, I do have a Wii U, believe it or not. First volume of Scott Pilgrim. Some more Tomb Raider stuff, followed by Super Mario Maker on the Wii U. Star Wars Battlefront Collector's Guide. In great condition. Uh, I got it for one pound at Poundland, believe it or not. Just plop that back up there. And on the bottom we just have some selection of games consoles with my PlayStation 2. The original, my original PlayStation 2, I've never had to upgrade that thing. My PS4 does usually slot into here, but interestingly, my PlayStation 4 is down here. Ugh, just kind of, uh, uh, I guess that needs a bit of a clean, as with, as with that I guess. Oh yeah, did I not mention, there's two PlayStation 4s here. Not both mine, don't worry. This one's Kathleen's. Yeah, she has a PlayStation 4 because I made her buy one. Anyway, moving away from the PlayStation 2s and back to these shelves. Now, this is a deeper bookcase than the other ones. I usually put my steelbooks behind here. My Blu-ray Blu -ray steelbooks are behind here. DVD up here and there. One of my favourite collector's pieces here. Blade Runner Unicorn Blu-ray. 
uh, steelbook. Had to get that imported from Italy, I think it was, because it's really hard to find cheap. Uh, a couple Star Wars sets, because of course I love Star Wars, I guess. I guess, I don't know. <laughs> get out of the way, BB-8, God's sake. Star Wars Blu-rays, Indiana Jones, the first four films, that is. My Daniel Craig, James Bond collection. A couple more Blu-rays. Better move all these cinema tickets. And a Plants vs. Zombies zombie. I do have more Blu-rays behind here. And behind them as well, but I can't be bothered. I just can't be bothered. Y-Wing Fighter that the dude got me for one Christmas. I'll have to admit, it's very dusty. I can only apologise, I guess. But you know, it's natural. Who cares? Third shelf down, we have some Blu-rays slash DVDs. Uh, it's more sort of my indie sort of like where filmmakers got started, you know, with Christopher Nolan's following. THX 1138 from George Lucas's directional debut before Star Wars and American Graffiti. Two good films. I really like American Graffiti in particular. And now we have some more masterpieces of cinema from, what, what's this? Ultimate Projects Productions. Although I guess they changed the name to, what's this? What does this read? Unbidden Pictures. So I think you should check them out, especially Unbidden and Tick. Definitely check them out. They're, I would recommend them just personally. I, I don't know. Hint, hint. Behind this unit, we do have my PSVR. And shelf down, we have some more just randomly stacked Blu-rays with some more Lara Croft behind there, just peeking away through. And then on the final shelf at the bottom, some random books and magazines just lying about. And then moving away from that single shelf unit, we have this smaller unit and it's more war-esque themed with a bit of horror. And the first shelf has some DVD war films. Oh, I guess it just cuts straight to horror, I guess. Here's some horror films. I'm a big fan of the original Saw film. At the bottom we do have a few more behind these guns. I think Scream's down there as well somewhere. Indiana Jones poster that is usually on my wall over here but it fell down recently and you know what it's like trying to put posters back up. You just, you just can't be bothered. <coughs> I mean, you just you just can't be bothered. <coughs> Random guns lying in front because you know, who who doesn't have a gun collection somewhere in the house? Then yes, I admit it does get a bit untidy. This is where the room starts to get a bit untidy. I can't really explain it. Anyway, let's have a look at the other side of the room. We've got this side, which I think I have just finished showing you. Apart from the posters in the background, of course, we've got Back to the Future and Empire Strikes Back, two of my all-time favourite films, along with Back to the, uh, the, Back to the Episode 4, New Hope, the original Star Wars, and that's, like I said, where Indiana Jones and the Raiders of the Lost Ark poster would be. But yeah, this is my personal favourite side of the room, for obvious reasons. Let's have a quick look behind here. Mainly pop boxes, of all things, the Wii sensor. Couple lightsabers, specifically Anakin Skywalkers and Darth Vader's. Let's light his lightsaber up. <gasps> oh, that is beautiful. Anyway, we we'll probably turn up. And yes, of course, we have my LED lighting around my TV. I did a what's in the box on that at one point in the past. And on the other side of the room is the proper plain walls. Genuinely plain walls. Wow. Yeah, I couldn't be bothered putting posters up here. It was just too much effort. I'm trying to get a wide shot of it, but I can't. I think Kathleen's in the way. <laughs> okay. Yes, again, just a mess. I have to have a fan in here because it gets way too hot in here, and I think that's down to you guys. These two PlayStations. Always making the room dead hot. Another one of my favourite collections. PlayStation 2 collection. My personal favourite games console of all time. Just over a hundred games in total. Random selection of Darth Vader figures up there. And of course my Rode video mic that I should probably be using for this, but it's just too much of a hassle to do handheld camera work with it. Again, just a bit of a mess. There's a random lamp there, but I use this lamp at the moment because it's just easier. Yeah, I can't really get to the bottom of there. I don't really care. That's a bit uninteresting, basically. I do have 007 seen it. I tried to play it with my family and nobody could get any of the answers but me, so I've never played it since. Board games? There's only like five, including that, I guess. Anyway, I think that's everything. I honestly think that's everything in my room. I think to get some better scenery there. Better shot. What? Oh, there's Ellie. The elephant. He joins us every now and then. Oh, also, there is up here, I guess. Not really that interesting. Some DVDs, some Batman vehicles, Hot Wheel vehicles. There's some more Star Wars stuff over there. And, of course, this is my chair that I commonly sit in. 
throughout the day, which over the years, specifically in the past few months, has just gotten really bad. That's just terrible. Give it another month and it'll be non-existent, basically. Basically sit here and play my games or watch a bit of YouTube using the YouTube app in PS4. And do a bit of my editing there as well, because there's my there's my laptop. Back to you, Chris. Thank you for watching. I hope you at least kind of enjoyed the video. I tried to make it as short as possible, but it's hard to not go in depth about me talking. I've become a bit rambly. I'm just sorry about that. Anyway, hope you at least kind of enjoyed it. Make sure to check out the rest of my content on my channel because if you loved anything you saw in here, chances are there's a video on it or something similar to it. Anyway, I hope to see you around the channel more often. I hope you at least consider subscribing and liking, maybe. Anyway, I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Whoa, we're inside Chris's room now. Wow, isn't it beautiful? Wow, yeah, wow. This isn't a voiceover at all. No, not a voiceover. Wow, ooh. I don't know.